Our second book for today is going to be a book called Angelina and Alice, and this is a story about friendship. It's an Angelina Ballerina book, so you girls probably have read this before. Angelina jumped for joy the day Alice came to school. Alice loved to dance and do gymnastics and was good at all the same things as Angelina. They quickly became close friends and were always together. At breaks, they skipped rope and did cartwheels round and round the playground. They loved to see who could hang upside down longest on the trapeze bar without wiggling, swing highest on the swings, or do the most somersaults in the air. Angelina was good at cartwheels and could even do the splits, but Alice could do a perfect handstand with her toes pointed straight in the air and never lose her balance. Angelina always fell over when she tried to do a handstand, which was embarrassing, especially on the playground. One day, Angelina fell right on her bottom and the older children pointed at her and laughed. One of them giggled and said, look at Angelina Tumbelina. Another whispered to Alice, and then something awful happened. Alice giggled, too, and ran off to play with the older children while Angelina sat behind the swings and cried. The next day was worse. They were all together and sang Angelina Tumbelina in the playground, and Angelina couldn't find Alice anywhere. Angelina couldn't concentrate at school, and made lots of mistakes in her spelling. She couldn't eat her sandwiches at lunch either, and by the time the class was lining up for sports, Angelina felt so sick, she wished she could go home. Mr. Hopper, the sports teacher, blew his whistle for silence and said, you've all worked so hard at your gymnastics over the year that we're going to do a show for the village festival. Everyone needs to find a partner and start practicing now. Angelina looked at the floor. Who could she ask? She was afraid nobody would be her partner. A big tear rolled down her nose. Then she felt a tap on her shoulder. It was Alice. Will you be my partner, please? Alice asked. All that afternoon, Angelina and Alice worked on handstands in the gymnasium. Just keep your head down and line up your tail with the tip of your nose, Alice said patiently. That always helps me to stay up straight longer. Alice was a good teacher and soon Angelina could do a handstand without falling at all. Mr. Hopper taught them how to swing in a beautiful circle over the bar and how to actually fly through the air and land neatly balanced on the mat. He taught them to work with the rings and on the bars and to do rhythmic gymnastics with colored ribbons. Finally, Mr. Hopper showed them a terrific balancing trick they could do for the show. The day of the village festival was bright and beautiful. The gymnastics class did a wonderful display at the village festival with high jumps, backflips, and balancing on the bars. When Angelina and Alice did their balancing act together, even the older children were impressed. Wow, they said, how did you learn to do those amazing tricks? After the show, Mr. Hopper smiled and said, that was really good teamwork. Alice and Angelina grinned back. That's because we're such good friends, they said together. The end.